Korma is a dish originating in the Indian subcontinent, consisting of meat or vegetables braised with yogurt, dahi, or cream, water or stock, and spices to produce a thick sauce or glaze. The English name is an anglicization of Urdu kirm, more accurately transliterated kama, and derived from a Turkic root. Etymology The word korma is derived from Urdu kama, korma or korma, meaning braise and refers to the cooking technique used in the dish. All these words, and the names of dishes such as gorma Persian, kir of the Azerbaijani kovarma or kavarma are ultimately derived from a Turkish language word kawirma meaning a fried thing. The Indian korma is, however, possibly unrelated in a culinary sense to the modern Turkish kavarma or to some other dishes using the same root word, as they use widely varying techniques and ingredients. History Korma has its roots in the Mughlai cuisine of the Indian subcontinent. A characteristic Mughal dish, it can be traced back to the 16th century and to the Mughal incursions into the region. Kormas were often prepared in the Mughal court kitchens, such as the famous white korma, perhaps garnished with bark, said to have been served to Shah Jahan and his guests at the inauguration of the Taj Mahal. Classically, a korma is defined as a dish where meat or vegetables are braised with yogurt, cream or stock added. The technique covers many different styles of korma. The flavor of a korma is based on a mixture of spices, including ground coriander and cumin, combined with yogurt kept below curdling temperature and incorporated slowly and carefully with the meat juices. Traditionally, this would have been carried out in a pot set over a very low fire, with charcoal on the lid to provide all-round heat. A korma can be mildly spiced or fiery and may use lamb, goat meat, chicken, beef or game. Some kormas combine meat and vegetables such as spinach and turnip. The term shahi, English, royal, used for some kormas indicates its status as a prestige dish, rather than an everyday meal, and its association with the court. Preparation the korma style is similar to all other braising techniques in that the meat or vegetable is first cooked briskly or seared using a high heat, traditionally using ghee, and then subjected to long, slow cooking using moist heat and a minimum of added liquid. The pot may be sealed with dough during the last stages of cooking, using a technique called dum or dampoktek. The korma can make use of a technique called bagger. Later in the cooking, additional spices are mixed with heated ghee and then combined with the sauce formed by the braising. The pan is then covered and shaken to release steam and mix the contents. There is a wide variation between individual korma and other curry. Recipes. Chili and ginger are often used, but the precise method of preparation results in widely different flavors. Indian bay leaves or dried coconut may be added, the latter being a predominantly South Indian flavoring. A korma pilau pilaf is a rice and meat dish made with braised meat. Variations In the United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, a korma as served in curry houses is a mildly spiced dish with a thick sauce. It often features almonds, cashews or other nuts, and coconut or coconut milk. In the 21st century chicken korma has several times been cited as the most popular curry in the UK, replacing chicken tikka masala in surveys of public eating habits. Navratan korma Navratan korma is a vegetarian korma made with vegetables and either paneer and Indian cheese, or nuts, or sometimes both. Navratan means nine gems, and it is common for the recipe to include nine different vegetables. See also Food portal References and notes External links The dictionary definition of korma at Wiktionary